California is suing the Trump administration over its policy requiring international college students to take in-person classes or face deportation. State Attorney General Javier Becerra says the policy is not only illegal, but puts hundreds of thousands of college students and professors in the United States at risk for COVID-19. Becerra says the rule also does not take into account other factors like the difficulties students face traveling internationally during the pandemic. This comes after USC joined Harvard and MIT in a separate lawsuit against the Trump administration's visa order. And in that same uh, same vein, I just wanted to, to mention that this whole Pac-12 thing has an effect on students who are going to school for athletic scholarships. If they choose to not play during this next academic year, they will keep their scholarship according to the Pac-12 conference and they will remain in good standing with their university and their sports team. So um, right now, I know the concern is a a lot of people thinking college athletics, but um, in my hometown, the local community college also delayed not only didn't just say we're doing conference sports. They said we're not doing fall sports at all this year. We're waiting until 2021 to resume that. And then I think, how is this gonna impact yet again, the seniors of our high school Mm -hmm. classes going into school this year? A lot of these students rely on those extracurriculars to get scholarships to further their education. And if there is not a season, that's gonna be a huge blow. So many of these senior athletes. I mean, even if you take a step back and look at all of the people who are uh, or the kids who've graduated from high school and are now going to be incoming freshmen for the uh, 2021 school year, uh, you you have no idea that you're going into this college experience in a completely different way than you thought you were going to when you applied oh, yeah. and got accepted. So you know, maybe yeah. you've already uh, shelled out the money. Or, uh, for instance, if uh, you're going to USC and you're going to be paying a ton of money to just have an online experience. And I, and I think it's you don't get to go odd. hang out at the dino and meet Not some people with your totally can't real to, id can't go to tradies hey but also what, 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 what was a big hot button topic uh i don't know early early this year or last year um where college athletes were finally able to receive some kind of compensation for their uh play uh, wasn't Correct. that like a big deal? We we're having like a big a contention of like, what, yeah. should they? You think be paid, that's what happened? You think that's the res- responsible well, for this? No, 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 no. Well, I'm just saying it. Just it, <laughs> it, it, it sucks even more because of that. So yeah. now, now they they've crossed this threshold where now they could possibly make money from playing these sports, um, and now everything's just being pulled back. So it's just a complete uh, reversal on every all the problems. I mean, that this made. thing is so wild. The ripple it's so effects devastating. are devastating. Yeah. The ripple effects are crazy. And this is just one little tiny sliver of it. Well, we've talked about this a million times. It's as if you stopped the earth from spinning one day. We just were like, stop. And then everything flew off. And now Great we are falls. somewhere in the stratosphere stop. looking around, seeing things just, oh, oh, that ended up over there. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that's gone. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll never, can I, I'll never get back to that. Like we're, Sandra Bullock and gravity or something trying to figure out what on earth I know it's so it's so sad it's going so on. weird there are so many weird like silver linings to the effects and all but majority of it I feel like it's terrible and horrible um just to put a period on the pac-12 conversation conference only schedules for tens of thousands of uh, not only fans but thousands of student athletes will find out their fate uh, no later than july 31st as of right now there's mm-hmm. definitely nothing saying that after july 31st those schedules will stay that way but um end of the month we'll get new information mm. yeah I and mean, i think it's sort of a wait and see like everything you know because obviously and- if you would have had this conversation in the middle of june Things seem to be trending in a positive direction for the United States. Uh, it yep. seemed like cases were going down. Um, if you looked across the rest of the world at places like Europe, they seem to have had uh, at the time, especially and, and continuing now, got a hand on this thing. That doesn't seem to be the case today. I don't know if it'll be different next week. Maybe worse, maybe better. I don't know, but it's very hard to predict this. And I think we were talking about this before the show started. Again, we still don't have great data. We still don't really know uh, consistent information across the board in this country and when you have not only bad data but also just like completely disparate pockets of this thing where the northeast it hit differently than it did in the south versus maybe out here in the west uh, it's just very hard especially when you're saying okay all of college and collegiate play in america has to be determined 
um, or at least in the Pac-12, and I'm sure that they're doing similar things that Big Ten would be doing, uh, etc. It just, what a mess. What a what mess. What an unbelievable mess. mess. So 